What's up, my Chickadee family? Today I'm going to be coming to you guys from something from the Bible, another teaching, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Always remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And today I'm going to be coming from Matthew chapter 10. And we can start at verse 1. Go down through uh, 15. 1 through 15. And um, for, you know, for the sake of uh, already prayed and whatnot, and um, ask God to open hearts and minds to receive the word. So let's go ahead and get into the word. Like I say, Matthew chapter 10, verse um, 5, excuse me, not 1, verse 5 through 15. And um, I'm going to read through it and pick up from there. Okay, verse 5 says, These twelve Jesus said, forth and commanded them saying go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not but go ye rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and as ye go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand heal the sick cleanse the leper Raise the dead, cast out devils, freely you have received, freely give. Provide neither gold, nor silver, nor brass to your purses, nor scripture for your journey, neither two coats, neither shoes, nor yet staves, for the workman is worthy of his meat. And in two, whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy, and there abide till ye go thence. And when ye come into an house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when you depart out of the, that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Fairly I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for that land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the days of judgment than for that city. And I want to focus on verse 15. In it shall be more tolerable for that land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Now we all know about Sodom and Gomorrah. If you don't don't know about it, this is a city that God destroyed because of so much sin in it. And um they had all kinds of sins. I mean men want to sleep with men, uh prostitution Stealing, killing, any kind of sin it is was in the city. So God said he's going to destroy Solomon and Gomorrah. And with those two cities, there were also, I think, a few other cities that was destroyed also. And um, here in verse 15, it says, That city, Solomon and Gomorrah, will be more tolerant than in the days of judgment. So... You know, um, it's a lot of wicked people or hostile people in this world. When uh, you try to tell them a word or whatnot, they already know it for themselves. And sometimes people come to you and try to tell you, or come to me rather, and try to tell me things. And if it's not correct, then I would know straight them out or whatnot. But I guess they got a, a corner-minded people that don't want to hear the word they're just self-righteous and if you don't know the word or read the Bible and try to come to me from the Bible then don't get hostile but anyway um, let me go through this um, 
this uh, chapter verse by verse of what we just read. And verse 5, it says, These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of Gentiles. And that means people of the world. Don't even bother speaking with the people of the world. And into any city of Samaritans. That the people that you know hate you. Don't even try to talk to people that hate you or people in the world. He says in verse 6, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's people who's trying to live right, but don't really know the word because it says they're lost. And a lot of lost people come to me trying to tell me something or ask me something. And then when I tell them, they get hostile. But um, I want to just uh, remind you guys, you know, if you trying to live right, don't be so shut up to not want to learn. Because if somebody tell me something that I don't know, I'm going to listen and see if it's right. I'm not going to just come out and tell you it's not what you're talking about is right or not. But if I don't, if I don't know about it, then I'm going to find out by reading the Bible and see if you're telling the truth or not. Because 9 out of 10, you're not saying the right thing when it, if it don't sound right to me. So I'll go to the Bible and read it and put it in. Because you know they got these uh, technology now about the Bible where you can look up things or what, whatever to see if it's true or not. And if somebody tell you something, then you can go to the little Bible things and type in a word. And if it comes up, then I'll say, okay, yeah, that person is right. But if they tell me, and I say, oh, I don't know about that. Let me read about it. I'll find out something more on that before I go and tell them, no, that ain't right or whatever. You know, you got to read the Bible, people. So if... um. Someone is telling you something or telling me something and it don't sound right, I'll tell them, okay, well, let me go and find out before I go and say that's right or whatever. But if I know and someone come and try to tell me something, then I'll straighten them out, but they want to get hostile about it and don't want to say, okay, now I know these things in the Bible, so just um, go read and I'll give them, give them the place to go read to find out for themselves, so you know, because I want everybody to make it to heaven. So if you don't know, you know, like it says in verse 14, the, the person who, people who don't want to learn or try to understand, they'll it's be worse than um, Solomon and Gomorrah. And um, let's go on down to the next verse because I'm about to get carried away with this right here. Anyway, okay. Now it says, uh, verse 7, And as you go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. In other words, you know, you're out telling people about God and say the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And we all know that the world is coming to an end, but we don't know when. So it's always got to be the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And um, he also told them to heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received, so freely give. And... If you go back to verse 5, it says, Jesus sent forth. Jesus told them to go cast out devil and not yourself. So if you see somebody with um, sickness or whatever, and you go tell me you laying hand on them, did Jesus tell you to do that? Okay. You got to make sure that the Lord is telling you to do these things. And then um, you go ahead and perform them. But if the Lord don't tell you to do it, then that's you doing it yourself. And um, we know about these uh, people who um, said uh, they cast out devils in the name of Jesus. And Jesus said, depart from me for I know you not. Because they did these things on the end. Jesus didn't tell them to do these things. Or God didn't tell them, which is the same person in a way. Okay, now, verse uh, 9 says, Provide neither gold, nor silver, nor brass in your Purses. They say, don't take anything with you. No money or any kind of thing. Try to give people or whatever for the word. You know, just uh, tell them what the Lord tell you to tell them. And don't no scripture, no scripts for your journey. Neither two coats, neither shoes, nor nor yet staves. For the workman is worthy. Of his meat. 
In other words, um, you're telling people about the Word. You're supposed to know the scriptures and stuff yourself because you study these things. And um, the work man is worthy of his work. So, you're supposed to, in order, you're supposed to have the Bible in your heart. Okay, now, verse uh, 11. And into whatsoever city or town you shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy, and there abide till you go thence. Going to, when you go somewhere, make sure that you are going to a place where someone is really trying to learn to know the word of God. Like it says in the first part, don't go to nobody that's, uh, that you know hates you, and don't go to worldly people. You're always supposed to be uh, trying to find out someone who's trying to live right, trying to know the word. And um, when you go into these people's house, well, let me get to that part. Um, it's uh, verse 12. And when you come into the house, salute it. Verse 13. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come into it upon it but if the but if it be not worthy let your peace return to you like I say you go you know find people who want to know the word and you go into the house with peace but if they be hostile and like they know it all or whatever then you leave the house and take your peace back with you knock the dust from your feet and go on but People, if you don't know the word and you're trying to get all hostile, listen to what somebody's trying to tell you. If you don't know, if you think you know, like you got this thing in your mind, like, okay, there, yeah, you're supposed to do this, supposed to do that. And you don't know the word, just take time to listen to people. And first vice, if you teach, can come to some of the house trying to teach the word and you don't know the word, but you're trying to teach the word. Make sure you know it before you go to some of the house. Okay? Now, let's go down to um, verse 14. And whosoever shall not receive... Okay, I'll have read that. Verse 15. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for that land of Sodom and Gomorrah in a city of judgment than for that city. For the house that you come into or the city that you're in, you teaching the word and they getting all hostile, trying to tell you different. And you trying to get them to see the right way, but they getting hostile with you. Don't argue or fuss, just uh no. Keep your cool and say, Okay, well, okay, um I'm trying to tell you the word or whatever, but you don't want to listen and we're not gonna argue about the word because we're not supposed to argue about God's word. So just uh, leave and knock the dust from your feet if they don't want to listen. And there's been plenty of people I uh, came across or uh, come to me trying to tell me the word but don't really know what they're talking about. But still, they want to try to tell me something. I'm not bragging on anything about the word because I don't know everything myself. Like I said, if somebody tell me something and I don't know, then I'll go read the Bible to find out if it's true or not. And if it's true, I say, okay, yeah, okay, that's that's right. Um, and I'll thank them for it. But if they're telling me something which I already know, or if I, if I don't know, let me put it this way. They tell me something I don't know, I'll go to the Bible and find if it's there. And I say, okay, they're right. And if it's not there or the correct way that they're saying it, because like I say, they got these technology now. You can type words in and it'll show you the, the mess or the passage in the Bible where it's at. And if it's wrong, then I'll go to show them, okay, now you're trying to tell me this, but this is where it go. And if they don't want to listen, okay, you know, like I said, you know, dust, the, dust from your feet and go on your way. They don't want to learn, so you don't can't fuss with them. But verse 15, it'll be more tolerable for Solomon and Gomorrah than for that city or that household. But, um... I just want to let you know that, no, God is still in control of things. And 
Stop being so hostile about people when they're trying to tell you something. If you don't know, then go to the Bible and read it. Find, try to find it. Like I said, they got technology nowadays. Now, back in the days, they didn't have this kind of stuff, but they got it now. So if somebody telling you something and you don't believe them, go find it in the Bible. All right? Now, I hope you all be blessed with this uh, lesson. You know, it's a little short, quick thing. But a lot of people out there are so hostile, don't want to know the Word of God. So I just had to get on here and let you know. Because, I, like I said, I know a lot of them. But um, it's all in the, in the Word. So let's go to the Bible, read, find out what people are saying, and go from there. Don't be so quick to want to knock people down because you think you're right and the person that um, you're talking to know that you're not right or uh, let me let me just get personal with it you talking to me trying to tell me what's right and I know what's right and trying to tell you but you trying to say all other kind of stuff to make yourself self-righteous it ain't gonna fall with me because I know the Word of God like I said I don't know everything so if you come to me and tell me something I don't know I'm not going to get all hostile about it or whatnot. I'm going to listen to you, but then I'm going to go to my Bible and find it myself to see if you're telling the truth or whatever. And if so, okay, yeah, thank you for the word. If not, I'm not going to fuss about it. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in and listening to the word today. Hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And... um. Be blessed. See you next time.